I'm Zach Shaway here with WCAT. I'm here alongside head men soccer coach or head boys soccer coach, Mr. Scott Snyder. First off, thank you for agreeing to meet me here today. Well, I appreciate it. It's always uh, fun and we really enjoy what you guys do with WCAT. I'd like to start off by asking, what are your goals for this team this season? My biggest goal for the team this season is for us to come together, team chemistry, because if we can get that, everything kind of plays off of that. And then uh, once that's established, obviously to go on and keep on winning and go as far as we can. Do you think this team has the ability to go on and win a championship this year? Yes. yes. Yeah, but I kind of always think my teams have the always ability to win. Well, of course. Yeah. Um, why do you think this specific team has the ability to go on and earn Westminster another state title in soccer? We have some really talented players. Obviously, that's that's the big part. We've got uh, you know some seniors that have been here and been in three state championship games, so they kind of know what they need to do. And uh, what we're really searching for again is you know hitting on that chemistry. We find that chemistry, and that seems to take us through in the rough spots. So you have seven seniors on the team right now. How important are they to the team, not only on the field but off the field? They are. Critical. That's why I'm really working with them and I'm putting a lot of responsibility on them. If they can become the leaders that we need them to be, we will, we will go as far as we should. You also have three freshmen on the team this year. How awesome, how awesome is it that you know they're going to be with you for four years and you can develop them for four straight years? It's fun. It's good. It's a balance in the sense that i got to make sure that I'm not keeping them with me but they never get to play and sometimes we've had those issues but yeah these guys are all contributors they're all really good players and it, it's also fun because that's you guys know I've known a lot of them since middle school so it, it's, it's a good cool it's not just four years it's like seven years that I get to know them so yeah if you don't know Mr. Schneider is the or is a seventh grade history teacher so he sees a lot of us in the middle school before we get to the high school um, Brian now it's no secret that he is the superstar on the team. <laughs> but a lot of us don't know why he is the superstar. Can you tell us what is so special about Brian Nam's game? All right, I'd back up. I'd say there's probably more than just Brian Nam, just to, to have that out there. But Brian, when Brian's playing his best is when he's happy. I remember reading about Lionel and Messi, and they said, how does Messi, they, they asked him, how do you play so well? He said, I play like a child. And when you watch Brian, when Brian's smiling, when he's enjoying it, he's, he's just in the zone and nobody can stop him. And that's really what it is. The other thing that really does help him, too, is he's a left footer. And left footers just seem to have a little special edge somehow out there. So. Um, four games into the season. Didn't get the results you were wanting to, tying the first game and losing the second game. But Walton and Riverwood, they're arguably some of the best teams in the, in the state of Georgia. Right. So... How important is it for this team to not only play just teams in our classification, but bigger 6A schools like Walton who maybe have many more kids to choose from than you do? I mean, for me, it's part of the, the lure of trying to make our program viable. I mean, we obviously, there, there's uh, different options out there. And one of the things that I think that makes playing for your high school so cool, at least for us at Westminster, is we play anybody. We don't back off. So when a team may be a 6A state champ, that just makes us want to play them more. And so, and we've always done that. And the wins or losses are not as important as it can we take it and learn from it. So I think if I played some of those teams later in the year, we could, we would, we would beat them. Not could, but would. Are there any teams or games that you especially look forward to or that you are looking forward to this season? Uh, personally, obviously I always like playing GAC because that's a big rivalry and I've actually become pretty good friends with their coach which makes it a little bit interesting. And we really enjoy going to uh, Chattanooga. The Chattanooga trip has become something that's a tradition with us and, and I think all of us, uh, regardless of whether we win or lose, we always seem to come back as a better team. So I, I look forward to that. It's always nice to get to miss school, too. Can you tell me a little more, more about that Chattanooga trip? I used to coach in Chattanooga, so I'm friends with a lot of people that are up there. And uh, I was looking for a way for us to, to get a, a, a kind of a bonding sort of and put us under pressure sort of a trip. And we did it 
probably my first year here, my second year here, and since then we've been doing it every year. And the guys just seem to really enjoy the city, and where you know just the, the fun that we have with it is probably the best thing. And uh, it's nice because it's close too, and it's top drawer soccer up there. There's really good teams. So, yeah. As my last question. Um, is there anyone on the team that's not a senior that we should pay closer attention to who could, in the next few years, become the face of this team? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a dangerous question, too. i got to think about that for a second. Uh, I think there probably are, but I don't want to put the pressure on somebody just yet. If there was one person, uh, if you made me answer it, it would be somebody like Johnny Ostrowski, who's unfortunately been working through a lot of injuries and trying to come back but he, he's a great leader in every sense of the word and he's a great kid we just hope he can get better and be healthy all right well thank you mr snyder i'm zach shayway with wcat <laughs>